I've got a dirty cast iron skillet and it needs to be cleaned. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I clean cast iron. Now, some people are intimidated by cast iron, both cooking with it and cleaning the inevitable mess. It's not necessarily like any other pan, like a nonstick pan that you can just like scrub out, throw it in the dishwasher and things like that. It takes a little bit of different care, but it's not that difficult as long as each time you use it and clean it, you take a few simple steps. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning, this is how I clean cast iron. There's many different ways. And I can guarantee you some people will not use the way I do. They may disagree with it. You just need to find the way that you're comfortable with, that works for you, and this is mine. What I'm gonna be cleaning today is my Lodge cast iron skillet, my large one. Now remember, this is cleaning, this is not re-seasoning or renewing. There's nothing wrong with this pan other than it being dirty. Now I did a video about renewing a cast iron pan and I'll put a link to that, but this is just simply cleaning the gunk out of this. This was just used to fry up bacon. It's got bacon grease in it. It's got some brown sugar and maple syrup residue. You just need to get it out of there. It's not difficult at all. Let's get to the sink. So the first thing I wanna show you is what I actually have underneath this pan. I have a little rack that the pan can sit on in the bottom of the sink. Cast iron can leave a mark in your sink. Uh, this is Corian, so it kind of gets that black scuff in there. It comes off, but I just like to put this down there to help prevent some of those marks. Now the first step in getting this clean is getting some hot water running. The only two things besides the water that I'm gonna be using if necessary, are this little lodge plastic scraper and a scrub brush. All right, our water is hot. We're just gonna let it start flowing into the pan and we're gonna have our scrub brush ready. And just start scrubbing. You're gonna start seeing those little bits of food and residue coming up and sloshing out of the pan. You can see it there. Just a nice gentle scrubbing. We're not using any soap. Nothing else, just the bristles of the brush. And we're gonna dump this water. There's still some residue in there. We're just gonna gently keep scrubbing. Turn the water off for a second. Let's dump this and see how we're doing. Now you can see how the water's beating there. That's two reasons. One, this pan is seasoned, but also there's still some of that bacon grease residue. And it's a little rough still in spots. So now we're gonna switch over to our scraper. And we're just gonna gently go across it. Knock those high spots off where that residue is stuck. Now I let this pan sit for a few days so I could purposely show you how to clean it when it's not right after being used. That's easier to do because the pan's still hot, all the residue hasn't adhered itself to it, but sometimes you let a pan sit for a day or two. I try not to. You can see we're getting less residue coming up Okay, let's see how we're doing here. That's getting much better. There's still a few little bits of that crusted residue there. Now this lodge pan comes with a little bit of a rougher surface. Some people smooth them down before they use them and then re-season them. I didn't do that with this one. Remember, this surface is already rough. You're not scraping down that roughness. You're just scraping down any of those bits that are still stuck there. And honestly, the best way I've found to really see how close you are to being done is just using your hands, feeling around there. It'll tell you if there's any spots where things are still stuck. Now let's say that this had some extremely difficult bits that were stuck there. What you can do, and what I've done in the past, is you just take some coarse salt, like some kosher salt, put it in there, and use that with a little rag as sort of a, a mild abrasive with hot water. That helps to knock those really sticky bits off the bottom of this cast iron pan but this is feeling pretty good right here. Remember, this is not a smooth, smooth cast iron surface. Some pans are. People have ground them down. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this another good rinse. You can see, still have little bits on my fingertips. I think we're getting there. I think we might be done. Let's turn off this water, dump it out, give it a good feel. Now I'm just gonna take a paper towel and do an initial wipe down here. 
just to get this excess moisture off. Give the back a quick wipe down. Now we're gonna move it over to the stove. So the purpose of having the cast iron pan over here on the burner is twofold. One, we're gonna use the heat from the burner to get rid of any of that leftover moisture that might be on the surface, both on the cooking surface and on the underside of the pan. The other reason we're here is we wanna heat this up because I like to add just a little bit of oil to it, rub it around before I put it away to be stored for the next cook. I use olive oil, other people use different kinds of oil. You just have to choose what you like and what you have and what you believe works best. Now, if you'll notice in here, there's still some spots with a little bit of residue. Now, I could take some salt, as I said before, and scrub that down further. If these were really bad, I could take some stainless steel chain mail and scrub that down with hot water even more. What happens then, though, is you're also starting to knock off some of the seasoning. And at that point, you're going to need to reseason it. I will probably give this an extremely aggressive cleaning sometime in the next few months and then reseason it completely. But for right now, it's good. I'm going to heat it up, get rid of that moisture, and add the olive oil. So I'm just turning this to medium heat. I just want to get it warm enough so it helps accept the oil to add to that seasoning, to give it a nice protective coating as I put it away for probably a few days to a week. And I've been doing it this way for years, both with this skillet, with my Dutch oven, my smaller skillets. I haven't had any rust. And rust is the thing you're really trying to avoid here. Secondarily, you want to keep that seasoning good so you don't get things that stick too much. This kind of had some stickiness because there were sugar-based things in there. There was that maple syrup, brown sugar, when I was doing bacon on a video recently. So let's feel here. That's just about right. I'm going to add just a little olive oil. That's it. And I'm going to turn the heat off. Now, if you have a lint-free cloth, you can do this. I generally just use paper towels. I'm just going to rub this around the warm inside of this pan here. All around. I want to give it a nice little sheen. I generally don't put any on the bottom of the pan. Some people will tell you that if you have any residue or dirt that comes off this when you wipe it, um, it's not clean enough. There is still some residue, some darkness from what's left in there, uh, the seasoning, everything. I've never found that to be a problem. If you want to get this down to so clean that you can just touch it with something pure white and nothing comes off, more power to you. I've been cooking with cast iron for a long time. I have never rusted one out. I've never had a problem with any of them, with any cooks, anything. And this is the way I do it. And that's all there is to it. This pan will be ready to use in two days, two weeks, or two months. I've left my cast iron pans and Dutch ovens and things like that sitting in the cabinet for six months between uses. Never had a spot of rust, any problem with them. This is just the way I do it. Now again, you may choose to do it a different way. You may want to get it down so clean and everything that you're going to spend hours and hours on it. I don't want to spend hours and hours taking care of my cast iron every time I cook with them. 15 minutes cleaning that pan, even less sometimes will keep it, for me, useful for years and years to come. I've been using that skillet for five years now, my Dutch oven for eight, my smaller cast iron pans for even longer than that, my cast iron griddle for several years. They're all working fine, no rust, the food cooks beautifully in them, not a lot of stickiness. Like I mentioned, this one had sugar in it, so I did that purposely and leaving it like that so I could show you how I could clean that out of there. I didn't use any soaps or anything, and I would never want to use soap in cast iron unless you're having to scrub something out of there that is just holding on insidiously. Then you're almost certainly going to have to scrape it down to the bare cast or close to it and re-season it. If you have to, you have to. In this instance, I didn't have to do that. This is just cleaning. Cleaning of some tough residue. Not horrible, but a little bit tough with that sugar-based residue. I like to keep things as simple as possible. I don't want to obsess over the things I cook with. I'll take the time to take care of them and I'll do it the way that works for me. So don't be intimidated by cast iron, either cooking with it or cleaning it. They are wonderful pieces of cooking equipment and you get amazing results out of them. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to check out some of my other videos and consider subscribing. And if you do, click that bell for notification. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you again soon.